Okay, so I got my my other scale and from my other video I had traced an outline of the knife I'm working on on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and stack these. I'm gonna tape them together with some just plain old um, like um, scotch tape. close together as possible. And then I'm just going to put that tape on it. And I'm using this because it's a uh, clear tape. And I'll be able to see what I'm doing. The reason why I'm taping them is because I don't want this to move or shift. I'm going to clamp it in a, in a minute, but just to help get everything lined up. It's nice if this isn't wobbling everywhere. All right. Let's like tape on there. Boom. Now that's taped together. I'm just going to put another one on just for a good measure right in the middle. Probably don't need it, but better safe than sorry what I'm about to do is put the first hole so now that I got this on here I'm using that outline so I can align this to where I want it so what I'm doing is just taking that outline that I put on here when I had it clamped with the single one and lining this up, and then I'm going to clamp it. Let me just get that aligned. And that aligned. Checking everything else. That's where I want it. I like it. Perfect. So, I'm going to take the clamps. and clamped in the last video I was talking about putting in these uh, marker holes I didn't have a center punch or anything like this I just used some nails but I got my where I want that in there okay so now that I got this on there I need to go ahead and anchor it so that I can go ahead and uh, drill this so what I'm gonna do now that I have it lined up and clamped is I'm just going to use some more of this tape And I'm going to go ahead and take this right on to the knife. Oh. And the scales. Just keep that from moving. Now I don't have a lot of tools that um, you might have if you are serious about doing this or you just are into tooling and stuff. And so I have to like improvise a lot of stuff. I, obviously I would put this in a, in, a, in a clamp or a vise or something and then drill it usually. I don't have any of that good stuff so I'm going to clamp on the edge of the table here. That means I got to loosen this up a little bit and then reposition it. But um, that's why I tightened it down so that I could then... slide this down and it's still in place okay and then I'm going to just set this just like this around the edge and then I'm going to clamp it down the table okay got my position there we go okay. 
so I clamp that down. Alright, nice and sturdy. I got my brass rod that I already pre-cut. That's going to be long enough to go through at this uh, um, pivot point. I got my 1 8 um, drill bit. That's the same diameter as um, the uh, rod here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use the, uh, the drill here. Get this put on there nice and centered. Okay, we got this right here. I'm just gonna set that right there. So now I got my rod that should fit right through there and it does perfect. So now I'm going to do the other one. So I'm going to reclamp it and I'm going to turn it around and do the second pin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. So. See, it went right through. So now I know exactly where my hole is going to be. Okay. I'll come over here. Put this on. Get enough clearance. Tighten that down. Make sure that's not going anywhere. I got this on a lower setting so it'll be more precise. I don't want the bit to heat up or warp or anything. I mean, if you have some cleaning fluid, you can use some oil or whatever like that. Um, I don't think it's necessary for this job. and clean all right so now I can test this other one now I haven't cleaned this edge up when I cut it yet it's still a little rough okay and so uh, there we go can you see that uh, focus there we go so it's still a little rough so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up so I just got a file and I'm just gonna just go around the edges. Just deburr it basically. And this is also why I cut it a little longer. So that when I get ready to uh, 
cut this pin down to the right size once I get everything shaped and everything else. I have plenty of, uh, you know, space to mess up or anything. And that should fit right in there. Boom. And it's snug. Nice and snug. That's exactly what I want. Nice and snug. But this will now align my knife so that when I need to trace the outline on that second scale to make sure I have those where I want them, that I got the alignment right. But that's right there. You can see I got it going all the way through. Okay. And that way I can guarantee both of my scales will be the same. Okay. So now that I uh, did that, I can just cut this tape and just take the razor and cut through, cut them apart. Pull the pins out. Take the tape off. I don't need it. Okay, I got a nice hole there. I can sand this down on the back here if you have some burrs or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, once you start sanding and shaping, it's not going to go away. But I got the outline here for. Uh, my knife no outline there okay so how do I make sure this lines up with that and that's what this is for so I take the pin and I just line it up with the hole take the second pin and line it up with the hole as well Boom. Now it's locked in. And I can go get my trace on. I don't want to rip up my paper, but whatever. I don't need that either. So. <laughs> excuse me. How to uh, do that. I'm just using the, the, the needle point on this compass. Okay, to then take and outline that. And I'm just going to scratch in the surface. So I hold it in place. And I'm just going to etch a sketch it. Now, I'll do it the easy way. I'll take these out. There's my outline. Okay. I'll actually trace this little piece right here so I can keep that together as well. But then I'll be shaping it and uh, boom. Take the pins. Nice to come through. And line it up. Boom. I got that locked in place. I'll take this.
And there you go. And that's going to be my knife design. If you can see that. Let me get that focus on that. There we go. Okay. Perfect. And then I'll be just uh, planting them. I already know. Where I'm at, I don't need both um, uh, pieces to look at them. I just need one really. where it clamps together and there you go so you got that sandwiched in and then all this stuff in here I can usually grind down okay but you got that going on that feels nice in the hand it's gonna be solid once I get this all uh, trimmed up but that'll be the uh, design okay I'm going to cut all this out I won't need that right here for the ring <laughs> there you go